Stability AI is bringing one of the most powerful text-to-image AI generation tools for free. Stability AI is pushing out a new update to Stable Diffusion called Stable Diffusion 3, and this is probably one of the most exciting things going on in open source AI right now. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. If you're unfamiliar with Stable Diffusion, it's a text-to-image generation model, which is available for free. And most online text-to-image generation tools are actually running Stable Diffusion in the background. With tools like this, users are able to create all sorts of amazing stuff just based on text prompts. And Stable Diffusion 3 is a huge upgrade from the previous Stable Diffusion 2. Today, we're gonna be diving into Stable Diffusion 3. That way you can see what to expect and determine whether or not this is something that's gonna be useful for you. So Stable Diffusion 3 is not just another step in the AI evolution, it's more like a giant leap. With its unparalleled ability to interpret multi-subject prompts and spell out entire imaginations into visuals, it really pushes the boundaries of what we thought was possible with what's now able to be generated in a few seconds, allowing it to understand much more. And what's even more impressive about it is that they're coming out with this multimodal diffusion transformer, which is a brand new architecture that actually uses separate weights for image and language representations, which is specifically going to be useful for improving text understanding and spelling capabilities as compared to previous versions. So if you've ever tried to generate images in the past using something like Stable Diffusion, you probably know that most of the time whenever text is inserted into an image, whether that's in a logo or something written on paper, the text tends to come out all sorts of wonky. It doesn't tend to make any sense. As you can see here in this example, like I don't even even know what this text is saying right now. But what's really impressive here is that this image that you're looking at right now was actually created using Stable Diffusion 3. And the text is so legible, it looks like it was even created by some graphic designer. Granted, it's not the most prettiest design, but it does look legible and it is actually properly spelled. What's really cool too is that we have differences in the text style as well. So we have a bit more of this playful brush stroke style, whereas we have something a little bit more concrete and stable over here for the Stable Diffusion 3. This is amazing and really, really impressive. As you can see from the performance, not only does it perform better just overall from the visual aesthetics and prompt following and typography, but it completely outpaces. What's impressive with this is that it actually comes with models ranging from 800 million parameters to 8 billion parameters, which is a huge range and should hopefully allow desktops with much lower end specs to be able to run this as well as configurations with much higher end setups. Now, the real beauty of Stable Diffusion 3 lies inside of its technical innovations, which is mostly in its architecture this time around. This new architecture, the Multimodal Diffusion Transformer, is also paired with flow matching. I'm not gonna get into the full details of how this tech works, but for a simplified explanation, this allows the images generated to be much smoother, more detailed, and more true to whatever the prompt was that you gave it. Here are some of the examples coming out from Stability 3. And what's interesting is that this architecture, even though that you can see it being applied to images right now, they describe it being extended to multiple modalities such as video. So if you've ever seen Stable Diffusion video before, nothing near the results from Sora, but I am curious to see how this starts to get implemented into their later text to video generation models. Here we have a translucent pig inside of a smaller pig, which is a very specific prompt that creates such an interesting image. We also have have a massive alien spaceship that's shaped like a pretzel. And of course, it does incorporate all of these details into the image. As we keep going deeper, we can see more examples from this. And it's really exciting to see just how much progress Stability AI has made with Stable Diffusion 3. I mean, take a look at this text. We have very refined text encoders here to where we have this burger patty, and then we also have the coffee element of the prompt perfectly implemented in here. And you can see all of the text, whereas beforehand, you may not have seen it as well. We also have this amazing text here with this monkey holding a sign and even more details about this mischievous ferret. If you guys wanna see more details about this and learn more about the rectified flow transformers for high resolution image synthesis, we're gonna have the research paper down in that description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. 
for yourself. It does get extremely technical, so I am warning you on that front. Now, Stable Diffusion 3 is not out yet, but we will be covering it here on the channel as soon as it does. There are so many amazing AI tools that are coming out and we actually covered them in this video. I think you guys are gonna wanna check it out if you're interested in seeing some awesome stuff like cloning your voice, live drawing, AI image generation, and so, so much more. Anyways, thanks for watching. Go ahead, check out that video. Until next time, peace.